Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of I Don't Fucking Know What I'm Doing. So, it's been a while. Hello, operator. Hello, Warframe. Hello, viewers. I'm back, just for this one video, though. So, aside from me missing the shininess of what the fuck is going on back here, I have a part two PSA, in case you guys didn't read the title for some inexplicable reason. And the title being the number one reason why you're here. So, according to an email I received from Drew himself, there seems to be a slight... Fuck off, Ordis. For now, at least. I miss you! Anyway, there seems to be a slight requirement for the War Within. For new players, in all honesty, unlock everything. You have to unlock everything and get to Sedna. So, for new players, do all the quests, beat the second dream, and get to Sedna. Where the good stuff is at, because Sedna unlocks the hard void. So, that's interesting. But for older players, for the veterans, this seems to be a small detail that caught my attention. For veteran players, beating or unlocking the Sedna Junction and the Second Dream should be no task whatsoever. For new players, there are prerequisites to get to play The War Within. So, start on Earth, Venus, Mercury, go back to Earth, Mars, Phobos, back to Mars, Ceres, and yada yada yada. That's a no-brainer for new players. Get to Sedna. For new players... Did I say new players twice? For new players, get to Sedna. For older players... I don't even know what I said a second ago, but alright. Older players, veterans, long-term Warframe brothers and sisters, all Tenno alike, must be the Sedna Junction. It seems that by the wording... Sedna Junction and Second Dream are two prerequisites to unlock the War Within. I'm assuming, due to a lot of speculation on the forums and on Reddit, that it might be that the Grenier Asteroid Base will be located here. It might be in one of these tiles. It seems to do something with the Sentience. And since this is the furthermost planet, it might have something to do with the Sentience overall. There might be a solar rail here, leading out of the soul system, leading towards the new solar system that is home and familiar to that of the sentience. Which is why there might be so much ominous and mystery and dread around the War Within. But that part might be speculation. I'm going to stick to a more sound and reasonable one, being that the Grenier asteroid base will be here. So, if the base is going to be here, Obviously, beating and having all the prerequisites would be very nice and very accommodating for us to get right into the War Within upon launch. Apparently, this startup start, yeah, the startup start or the startup injection of the quest or just hit the ground running style of the quest upon login, basically, if you guys didn't catch my drift. After logging, you're just going to be flung into the quest. And having the prerequisites will make sure that is still the case. Otherwise, you have to go back and make sure you have this junction unlocked and beaten. And it seems to be very simple, mainly for the fact that it, mainly for the fact that it is, damn phone, um, beat Counselor Vahek on Oral Earth. My phone, no, 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 shut up. Destroy or defeat ten sentients on Lua. Collect three mods from the Orokin principles, or yeah, principal challenge rooms on Lua, and craft a weapon of mastery rank five or higher. Which is kind of weird considering how far this is from the early game, and mastery five should be no issue. But this should be around mastery eight, nine, unless you guys are just being carried or pushed through the game. Because this area is hard. Like, Jesus, they're thirty and forties. Like, I understand good mods and all that, but you need to have some good weapons too. But, I'm just turning this into a rant at this point, um, five minutes in. But, yeah. Can't wait to see what's going on over here. 
that's a dark sector, not really worth my concern. So just a heads up, want to make sure you guys are on the pretty much on the same page as what DE intends. Tenno, there's a time limited mission alert available. Check navigation. A ton of fan channels were asked to do this and I kind of still have it in me as a loyal player and loyal to the community in some way to keep you guys informed. I can't wait to come back and look at the game with a new fresh set of eyes. Maybe, maybe not that fresh. But I will say I have been away for a month and even though I missed out on a event and I'm gonna miss out on the index. Um, let me just show you guys. Oops, no, index. I haven't even started it. I haven't even tried. So there's that. And let me go back to my operator. So I can't wait to come back and kind of re-inject myself into the game. Like, there's something about it that even though I've grown bored and tired of it, there's this, I don't know, certain attraction to the game. There's a fondness I have to this operator that really doesn't do much. But overall, especially the Warframe itself, I miss you, Excalibur. I miss you, the glowing, floaty thing of a Rokin mystery. And most importantly, I kinda miss doing the Warframe Digest, even though I've only missed one dev stream. Technically, this Friday is gonna be a second dev stream I'm gonna miss, but I don't know. I think I might get back onto the way of the Tenno or Origin of Tenno. What was my little film thing I was gonna do? But yeah, I might get back into that and actually finish it up and give you guys something worthwhile. So until next time, guys, have fun, take it easy, and I'll see you guys in the next PSA for The War Within, if DE ends up pushing it back again. And if not, I'll see you guys in The War Within. So take it easy, Tano, and keep having fun. <laughs>